Hey everyone, my name is Envy, and today I'm going to be playing The Wandering Village. Now, I've had this game saved in my wish list for way too long, and I finally bought it. And here is how that went. Driven from our homes by the toxic spores, we kept wandering, looking for shelter. But not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. Alright, so I worked my way through this extremely long intro and tutorial, and I made sure to read every fucking letter because I wanted to make sure I knew how to play this game. And I was so, so excited. Now, after some time, I finally built up some tents so my nomads have a place to live. Made them gather some resources because, oh my gosh, you're going to need a fuck ton of them. One thing I think I struggled with, probably one of the top like three things in this game, was probably getting food all the time. Once you set up the berry gatherer early on, it's okay, but once you start adding more nomads to the mix, it's harder. Now when I play any kind of city simulator or city building kind of game, if I start to feel a little more comfortable with the controls and the understanding of the game, and I don't like how my city looks, I'll just go ahead and restart it. As you can start to see, I'm kind of in a little bit more of a comfortable space with this game. I'm starting to do scavenges throughout the map. I have 42 people now that I take care of along with a giant ass dinosaur but we'll we'll save that conversation for another time now recently in my steam collection i have been trying to get majority if not a hundred percent of the achievements so i finally had hit day 100 in this which actually is an achievement that i accomplished thank you very much but then i decided I kind of had enough of this, so I played a little bit longer, but then I decided I'm ready to start over. I want a brand new village. Everyone's dying due to poison. I can't keep track of these people anymore. I'm over it. So once my dinosaur decided to go in the completely incorrect direction I wanted it to, I decided it's time to start over. <laughs> and oh boy. Did I start over? Now I'm just going to fast forward through this right here and I want you to pay attention in the top right hand corner. I couldn't find a bit of food to save this guy. So, unfortunately, my dino did end up dying. Which I didn't even know that was possible, but it's possible. And now what do we do when we lose gamers? We started it up again. All in all, I did really enjoy playing this game. I love the details into it. I love 
the kind of games that allow me to direct my people into the tasks that I want them to complete. I do really enjoy this. I love being able to prioritize the things needed to be done on the back of the dinosaur. I love the different biomes and the threats with the different temperatures and how that plays a role with the crops and plantations that you can grow. The Wandering Village is definitely a game that I thoroughly did enjoy playing. I even tried to get my boyfriend to play it, but he refused. But all in all, thank you guys so much for watching all the way until the end. I'm going to try and do more short videos of different games, so if you have any recommendations, please comment down below. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching.